Is it true the rumor about Dimitri Sutud is going to Fenerbahce next year? Well, I can confirm because he's already kind of speaking on behalf of Fener. I mean, building the roster for the next year. And I know for sure that Ceska is looking for a new coach. They have some, let's say, other and different names on their list than they had before with all these top coaches. Uh, so there's a, another follow-up question. With the departure of Vesely and most likely De Colo and the uncertainty of the new head coach, well, it's there's no uncertainty. this is going to be the head coach. But anyways, how do you see Fenerbahce in the next season? What moves could they make? Uh, er, and what will happen to Fenerbahce uh, if Vesely and De Colo leaves? Mm. Bottom team, maybe? Nah, I wouldn't nah. agree. I wouldn't agree. It, Already for signing Etudis, there's a clear idea how you're going to build a team to be competitive, so he wouldn't go to uncertainty. Uh, actually, well, I want to praise myself a little bit because okay. I made some really bad predictions throughout the season, but uh, like a few months ago I said it would make so much sense for, for Fenerbahce to hire Etudis ah, okay. as the new coach. And at the time, Georgievich was still doing a pretty good job. But and I we didn't have war, yeah, right? Yeah, we did not ah, have okay. war. There were Russian clubs still in the Euroleague. But I was saying that Itudis would make a lot of sense. He is um, someone from Br Jelko Bradovic's coaches free three, mm -hmm. like you can say that. And uh, he is a very good modern coach with clear ideas how he wants his team to play and putting a lot of emphasis on good spacing. So I, I can only guess that some of his first signings should be like players capable of playing the stretch four position and shoot the basketball. And then, of course, you need good point guard, uh, need good perimeter players. And the Colo and Vesely leaving might sound like a bad thing, but the Colo is aging. Vesely had a lot of injuries. It's not like they are irreplaceable. They are one of the greatest European players right now in, mm. in, in the EuroLeague. But I cannot say they are irreplaceable. Uh, you can find a point guard. I mean, Lorenzo Brown, for example, when he first played in Fenerbahce, he looked like a different player. Right now, you're looking at him as a very solid point he guard. He kind of reminds me of Daniel Hackett, and to this could see him in his, let's say, role. Yeah. So maybe they will have a lower budget, but uh, right now we saw them investing most of the money to the key players without having a very deep squad. The approach might be different next next season. Uh, you might not have superstar names, big names, but you could have a really solid, deep roster. We'll see what's going to happen. But it all starts from head coach, and I believe that hiring Itudis is the best they could have done. So uh, let's just see what other pieces they will add. But uh, with with uh, the know-how of Itudis and, and Mauricio Gerardini, I mean, only good things can happen, in my opinion. Yeah, I'm excited about this I'm rebuild. Sorry, is, is Ger Gerardini or Gerardini? Gerardini? I'm always getting confused. Gerardini. Gerardini, right? Yeah. Yeah, sorry for that. Uh, I'm excited about this rebuild. Um, I wanted to see how this team will look like uh, in, let's say, post Vesselis era. Uh, they probably took the best coach uh, for this team. There were rumors about them having a budget decrease, yeah. but from what I've heard, they should stay in at the same level, which is somewhere around 25 yeah. million, which is okay to build a good top uh, A team. And you know what? Uh, like last season, they had so many bigs. Vesely was playing too often, in my opinion, as a, f as a number four in the fourth position. Yeah, yeah. And right now, okay, this, I see a very different approach. Re you're rebuilding the team. For example, you have Devin Booker. He's a great center. He's a great player. Of course, he also needs to be healthy. He had some some problems before, but he he's a really good center who can. He has a soft mid range touch. He can play in the paint. So and I, again, it's already a great player. Even though uh, Stephen A. Smith said that Devin Booker didn't show up for Phoenix in, in Game Seven, which was really unfortunate. <laughs> he had a game in Istanbul, but but I still believe that Devin Booker is a great Euroleague center. And I I kind of see to this going small again. If you remember, he won the Euroleague with Kyle Hines and, and Otello Hunter oh, yeah. in the center the position. Playing switch all. He he played switch all. He had shooters, uh, spot up shooters on on power forward position, and with Vesely gone, uh, with kind of limited uh, free agency. Because you know what's interesting about this rebuild that it's gonna be hard to find superstar center and point guard 
because the market is really dry for both of these positions and all these big big fishes in center position, for example, they're already moving, uh, switching places and you will have to think a little bit out of the box. For example, even for the point guard position, it's really to find, uh, hard to find any other available point guard because again, Lorenzo Brown, he's the free agent, but at the same time, I'm not sure how it goes with the current front office of Fenerbahce who had some experiences Brown with Lorenzo Brown. Brown will probably have some offers to choose from. But oh, of course, of course. So but if we're talking about switch all defense, uh, we're always emphasizing centers, but a tall point guard is yeah, also yeah. a must and Lorenzo Brown just makes a lot of sense in this case. Yeah, and for example, there were rumors that Fenerbahce were after Paris Lee, who ended up signing with Panathinaikos. It would just wanted Paris Lee as a, as a backup uh, guard. So I would, I could clearly see them signing, for example, Chris Jones uh, fitting that role. Mm. Uh, but yeah, again, for the main point guard position for the center, I think that they will have to be smart. They will have to be creative, but they have the best people in that position to be creative. They starting have great from Matudis to Gerardini to other people yeah. who are building the team. So I, I'm really excited about about this team because they will change uh, significantly mm. and I'm very curious this to see. This should be competitive for the player of oh, playoffs yes. anyway. Oh, yes. 